Good morning. It is January 12th, and this is week 22 of Growing Roses from Seed. We actually have sunlight today. Um, yesterday it was like nighttime all day long. So, here are the updates. My avocado plant, I think, is officially done. Um, I think I overwatered it before. I put the leaves in the, um, this is succulent mix. Uh, which is very uh, branchy and very aerated um, to let the water just seep through but I think I just overwatered it and I think the um, the roots rotted out so this the leaves came off way too easily and now I think it's done my poor baby so first well not first but one of well yeah first failure of the year but we learn from failures right don't overwater your succulents <laughs> Okay, um, I just moving around too because I was watering plants and I just wanted to make sure that they were in a good spot. So here is my avocado in water. It's getting new shoots up here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. And the stem is doing pretty well, although one of the and here are the roots. But one of the coolest things about um, looking at this versus the one that I did in dirt is these don't grow as quickly. And I'll show you the other ones in dirt. I mean, you see that they're at least two feet tall and they're still going, but I'll show you the updates for this week. Here is my lemon tree baby. These were tiny leaves the other day, or, you know, last week, and now they're just growing like that. But I do agree that um, these are probably not getting the amount of light they are, which is why they're growing so slowly. Um, I'm not sure that that's such a bad thing, because if these trees start growing like crazy, I don't know where I'm going to put them in my apartment. <laughs> so, But if you remember from last week, um, I was worried because my store-bought roses, all the leaves yellowed and then fell off. Um, I had a, a nice uh, commenter who told me that it's probably just going through its winter phase and, you know, to cut it back. Um, actually, due to my laziness rather than my experimentation, um, I didn't get a chance to do that. But, look what happened. New leaves all over the place. So, it's fine. The leaves have a lifespan, I guess, just like the, um, just like the, the blossoms. Let's see if I can get that in. There, look. Isn't that beautiful? I love how the tips are all red. I love that. So these were little tiny shoots before, um, similar to, like you see that little one right there? They were all kind of like that and like this one right there. That little tiny shoot. Um, they were all like that, and like in a week, they just sprout, sprout, sprouted, <laughs> just like that. Um, and even on the, on this guy, here you see how the leaves are yellowing. Um, I guess that's normal for this plant. So I'm trying to keep it warm, trying to keep it. Well, I keep it by the window so that it experiences the same, um, well, similar weather conditions as of being outside. But we'll see. And then. Look at this crazy bad boy. This baby is growing like nuts. This is the surviving rose from seed. Um, and I mean, it is just everywhere. I have to figure out how to make a trellis. And I think what I'll end up doing is I'll put this one over here and maybe I'll make a trellis that goes up the wall here so that I've got something to climb on. But um, I don't know if I should repot it first or if I should just let it be in its habitat, because I mean, it's it's growing like crazy. So I think it's happy. Um, yeah. So I might just get a trellis, something that I can um, remove, or something that's not attached to the pot. So if I do have to replant it, I'm not gonna damage the um, the vines, you know, when I, when I move it from one pot to the other. And we have my cat palm. And that just has its normal cycles of getting a shoot like this. If it gets like this pointy thing, it fans out, and then it, it gets all brown and dried out. Like, I don't know how to plant. But it gets 
brown and red, I like that one. Here is my spider plant, which is not growing as quickly as the other one. And I wonder if it's because it doesn't like this container. I think, I don't think this container allows sufficient airflow, so I don't know if I'm gonna poke holes throughout here, or if I'm just gonna use this for a different kind of plant. Like maybe I'll plant the avocado in here because it's got such long roots. We'll see. But here's my pothos. One of my pothos. Here's my other pothos. See, it's growing all over the place and the vines are coming down. I'm really reluctant to, I don't know. I love that this is so leggy. I want tendrils and tendrils of vines coming down from this plant. Um, and here are my avocados. I think this one This one, that's at least, that's gotta be three feet. And the other two are growing like mad. And the stems are pretty good. That one's still young, so it's still red. But I mean, it's good. So, they're doing really well. And soon I'm gonna have to put that on a lower section of my room because um, it's gonna hit the ceiling. <laughs> But I mean, and that's without any type of support. It's just growing there by itself. So hopefully that will turn into a mini tree that maybe I could put in the living room or something, but I don't know. We will see. Let's go on to the living room. And here we have the plants in the living room. You can see that they are doing pretty well, growing like crazy. Um, I turned the bucket around so that this side would be on the side of the heater, um, and these started like popping up. Um, so yeah, I think it was just a little too cold, but um, they seem to be doing great now. I can't wait to see what flowers these will produce, but um, we will see. Here is my spider plant. Again, I'm a bad plant mommy. I haven't had a chance to prune this baby, but look. Awesome. So many babies. I'll probably put them in pots here and here um, to let them root, and then, um, and then I will disconnect them from the main plant because I don't want them to die. But yeah, and we've got other ones over here too. Cool. No more stems so far, but I think it's put off enough shoots. Now I just have to prune it. Alright guys, I will see you next week, and thank you for watching.